We're going to install a sterile air UVC whole house HVAC air cleaner. This is the box that it comes in. And when you open the box, first thing you have are the instructions as always. Contrary to other beliefs, you should read the instructions 100%. Now we're going to need some typical tools. We're going to be dealing with a V-type coil. And here it shows you the V-type coil. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the panel. I'm going to take off the front panel. I've got a couple more screws to take out on the panel. So we go to the front. All right, we'll take that one out. As you can see, I've taken out most of them already. We come back to the box. I'll open up the ballast for the emitters. The emitters go in this compartment here. And what we're going to have to do is mount it on the outside of the coil just about like this. So the bulbs, the emitters, when they're poking through, they go all the way through and emit the UVC. We're going to go ahead and open up the emitter and we'll, we'll lay it on there to make sure that our holes are going to be in the right spot. To appease the homeowner, my lovely wife, we'll take this outside to drill. So now we've got our holes cut. Emitter, drop it in there. Fits perfect. Just how we want it to. We'll start this one. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off the top panel. If you don't have a meter, you should probably shouldn't be doing this because you don't operate one. You get somebody in that does and knows how to operate a meter. We actually have a 60 amp breaker. And another 60. These are probably for the heat strips. One's for the main air conditioner, one's for the heat strips. So we're going to look for a leg off of each or one of them to get 110 volt power. Alright, in the packet comes a uh, electrical cord with this grommet here. Here, it snaps in nicely. Wasn't that simple. And we'll make our terminations. The white with the white and the black with the black. Green will be our ground. Up nicely. Now, due to the fact that we're going to go ahead and hardwire her in, we're going to go ahead and cut this plug off. I believe enough in case I want to use that plug again one day. Strip this off. Now we're going to clean the ends of the wires so we'll be able to make terminations with them. Power's all off of this breaker. We drop her in off the top. We're going to make sure that we don't have any voltage here. No voltage. Always be safe. And always think ahead. If you see right here, we've got some wiring. UBC will break down the coating on those wires. If you go ahead and cover that wiring with some kind of um, foil tape, it's all about making the wires last a little longer keep them from breaking down from that UVC lighting. We're going to secure the front now. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and install the emitters. And be careful when you open these emitters. They give you the gloves because they don't want you to touch any of the elements. You can only touch the back end. 
plastic in where it plugs in. Okay. If you were to use the gloves, put them on your hands. It keeps your oils, the hands, oil on your hands off of them. And if you do manage to touch it, they give you some wipes here on how to wipe off the glass. Back end of the emitter is a rubber O-ring. It's right there. And the whole thing fits like this. Slide it into the hole like this. Once it's all the way in, take the little clasp and you catch the sides. It's as simple as that. And once it's in, you go ahead and make your connections. It plugs in one way. There you go. Now, you want to always make sure that you have your emitters installed before you put power to the system. If you don't, the sensor will shut off the power to the ballast and you'll wonder why nothing's working. So you'll have to cut the power off again. It takes five minutes and it'll reset. All right, we're going to go, we turn on the breaker here. And we're going to go ahead and check, make sure we got our 240 volts coming in. The system will, will not allow you to turn it on right now because it's got a safety on it. So if you do all this and you turn the switch and nothing happens, you see this little pin right here? There's a little clip here. All right, little light comes on. See the hole over here? You actually see blue light through there. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Don't ever look at the blue light directly. Um, if you have on safety goggles, some kind of plastic. Oh, it helps. Okay, we'll seal up that. Now we'll let its passive goodness go to work, killing all the bacteria in the coil. And before you finish, my assistant's gone to the trouble to put the uh, sterile air warning label and the day and date time. It's 7, 16, 11. All right, and we'll look at the box, the box it came in, and we'll mark off the emitter. All right, this is RGTS20HO. RG20HO. Next July, around the 15th, we'll pull it and change it. And hopefully everybody in the house will be nice and healthy for the next year because it's going to be working, killing all that bacteria that gets in your coil, gets in your air, and keeps the the pan flowing so we won't have any problems with the system shutting down the emergency shutoff here when our drain backs up and clogs up. We'll go ahead and pick up all the tools, clean it up and that's it.